All right, so I got set up to uh, put the pistons back in the motor, and the way uh, I'm gonna do that is I got I've got first off I got my uh, engine lift and it's kind of makeshift something to kind of hold it up in the air because if you try to hold this put it in man what a pain and um, I've got my piston ring compressor tool uh, so I only have two of these uh, which I'll put two in at a time these are, I mean, they're, they're like a hundred bucks for a pair, so, anyway, um, anyway, I'll just, uh, I, I got the lift so that I can slowly bring it down instead of sitting there holding it, uh, which should make it a little easier, and, uh, <clears throat> anyway, I can kind of get this set up where you can see that, hopefully. Everything out of the way. And just need to kind of get it in the right position here. There I go again. Try. Break my camera. Anyway, you can see now how it'll kind of go. Um, this is a little bit in the way right now. Uh, so I don't know exactly how this is going to work real good or not. But we get the first piston in. And then I can kind of relieve some pressure on it. And then... I'll put this one and this one, which I think probably should put it on this one. Well, anyway, this is going to be a little process um, just to see how it'll go. But basically, I'll just let it down. Real slow, like. Yeah, I think that's going to be maybe in the way. So we got number one going in. <clears throat> so my first one should be the number one. Flashlight, so I can see. Yeah. Seems legit.
I'm guessing. <clears throat> This tool has to decompress right at the bottom of that first ring. Honestly, I'm thinking this number three is probably going to be the next one that's going to go. So I'm going to redo this. lined up <clears throat> I'll try this again <clears throat>
this one on backwards. Well, trial and error. I'm sure this is working so good. Got this figured out. Gotta make sure you put your pins back in. So I forgot about. So I got a little magnet. Just kind of push them back down in the hole and then hold them. So I got. Just three pins. 
get my light. There's one there, one there, and one there. they just you just gotta kind of compress the, the ring and then move it up a little compress it and it'll slide down in that hole so I'm gonna make sure my still lined up Still lined up. Alright, we got it in and it's tight, which is good. You can hear it. Awesome. So, a word about all that is just uh, take your time and uh, you know, if the rings won't go in, you could use a per, you could use like some picks and stuff, and try to get that uh, to get that in. But um, the problem that with that is uh, that you know you're it's easy to break one of those piston rings, so. Um, I bought, you know, a set of these. You could probably just do it in one and then do each one. Um, but it was a pair, so, and they're like a hundred bucks, but it's kind of worth it because they, they, uh, really are handy. Um, so the next thing to do is to put the end caps on without the manifold on. And then just measure our play um, with uh, the shims and stuff. So, but it's pretty tight. I'm really liking that. So, um, I'm gonna do that next. Um, I'm gonna clean up, clean up my shaft a little bit. And